Imagine looking at a photo but there's a person or object you want gone. You click and it's gone. Took a picture of your breakfast but those crumbs are distracting. Click and all clear. Or maybe there's a boat in your landscape shot that doesn't belong gone in seconds. In this video I'll show you how to use affinities in painting brush tool to quickly remove unwanted parts of any image. If you want to easily remove objects from an image, the in painting brush tool is your go-to. And here's how to find it. In the tools panel on the left, click and hold the healing brush tool to reveal more options. Select in painting brush tool, by default is set to a soft brush, but you can adjust this. Just click the more button at the top to change the brush settings like hardness and size. In the context toolbar, you can change the brush width and opacity. Adjust this to your liking and simply start paint over the boat and parts of the water you want to in-paint. Just like that. Don't worry if it's not perfect on the first try, you can always zoom in in precision and make multiple passes. And as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. Now let's jump into another example. Let's see how to remove crumbs from this image. Adjust the size brush. And gently paint over each crumb in small, deliberate strokes. So see how quickly the crumbs disappear? It's almost like magic. Let's do for the other ones. Looks easy? Tell me in the comments if these affinity tutorials are helpful and if you want to have more of them. Now let's try something more challenging. Let's remove people from this crowded beach scene. Sometimes you can work on individual objects or even groups. And in other times, you need to combine this tool with other tools for better results. As you can see, the sun is getting repetitive in this part. So it's creating an unnatural pattern. And in this case, we'll make subtle adjustments to break up the repetition, giving it a more natural look. I will use the selection tool and then the erase tool for this because it's for the purpose of the tutorial, but you get the idea. So remember, this tool is excellent for simple object removal, but for more complex edits like this one, for example, you might need to combine it with other tools for a flawless finish. Let me know in the comments if this helped you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.